I can't believe I'm doing this. And you do it so well. This is all Jane's fault. She made me do this. She doesn't take care of your knees anymore. No, no baby, not the way you do. She hasn't wanted me to touch her in months. Frank, you make me feel so alive. I hope you feel something, too. Well, I feel something, all right. <laughs> I hope you've gotten what you wanted. Does it feel like you've broken anything? Only thing broken is your sense of morality, Thomas. Excuse me? God, you're a lying, pathetic loser. I wonder your wife won't let you touch her. Who the hell are you? I'm the angel of mercy, baby. Here to save the world from one more adultering loser. No! Lieutenant, <laughs> we have a report of a DB off the bike path by lifeguard tower 44. This is one PV boy responding. Please have CSU and cornered meet us. Hit it. Please, go back, sir. going to tell your parents about us? You know, it's hard enough for them to handle me being a cop. Let's let them get to know you as my friend first, okay? Okay. Happy anniversary. Hi, hey. Mrs. Calloway. Hi, Chris. You don't mind if we crash, do you? We'll blow out of here after coffee if you and Dad put some time together. Oh. Uh, he walked off a few minutes ago. Well, that's okay, Mom. We'll just wait until he comes back. Uh, he's not coming back, T.C. Your father left me. When can I get his things back? I'm sorry, Mrs. Leary. Thomas's possessions are being held as evidence. Even his wedding ring? Your husband wasn't wearing one when we found him. Mrs. Larry, was Thomas having trouble at work? No. Is he breaking from his usual routine? Maybe uh, getting strange phone calls, meeting people in odd places? No, I would know about that. How? 
I had a private investigator following him. Really? Why? Because I thought he might be having an affair. Was he? No. But you were suspicious of him. Obviously, I just told you I hired a private investigator. On your anniversary, Dad? Is that supposed to be symbolic or just incredibly thoughtless timing? I don't know what your mother told you, but there's a lot more to it than that. She said it has something to do with another person coming between you. But she refused to discuss it out of respect for you. Your mother doesn't know the first thing about the meaning of the word respect. I don't believe this. I have spent my entire life listening to you tell me how a man faces up to responsibility. Now I want to hear you be a man and admit it to my face. Admit what? That your mother's having an affair? What? You've been suspecting him since your mom came back from Europe? Since right after my kidnapping. But he didn't have the nerve to call her on it until today. Wow. You know what I can't understand, Chris, is why now? After 35 years. <sighs> Maybe she wasn't happy. They're not going to tell my sister about it until after she gets back from a trip next week. And I can't even imagine how Teddy's going to take the news. So Thomas Leary designed computer games, huh? Oh, not just any computer games, Lieutenant. There's uh, Carnival Bullies, Nightmare Ninjas of uh, Death. That was a genius. The perp shot at point blank range for the 38 right to Leary's heart. No prints, no weapons, no witnesses. And aside from the wedding ring, nothing was missing. Not his cash, not his platinum card, not even his Rolex. How big was his insurance policy? Big enough to give his grieving widow plenty of motive. Yeah, five million dollars worth. Uh, listen, let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. I want you two to re-canvas the area and check into Larry's business. See if you have any problem partners or associates, okay? Uh, Lieutenant, I was thinking maybe, uh, DC and Chris should talk to the PI. Maybe she saw something when she was telling Larry. Good idea. Okay. All right. Oh, you and your partner also do personal training. Investigative work isn't always consistent or lucrative, but there are plenty of women who will pay whatever it takes to get into shape. The prize being a man. You don't look morally opposed to physical fitness, officer. What can you tell us about Thomas Leary? Only that I can't believe somebody would kill him. He was a really nice guy, but, but an unfaithful one. In a manner of speaking. I think you need to explain that. Our business isn't merely monitoring current behavior but also assessing the potential for future activity. Why don't you cut the euphemisms and tell us what you really do? A woman likes to know the measure of a man's fidelity. So we offer him the forbidden apple. See if he bites. You lure these men into affairs to see if they're faithful? Sounds more like collusion and conspiracy than a true test of relationships. I'm a licensed private investigator. I simply collect data so my clients can make informed decisions. You may be licensed. But seducing another woman's husband sounds like a completely different profession to me. You had a line, officer. Am I? You're exposed to a man's wife in an affair you created, and then that man shows up dead a day later. If that's your theory, go question the wife. We will. And we'd also like to talk to your partner. Tanya Martina had no involvement with this investigation. But if anything changes, I'll call you. Thank you for your time. Larry's dead. Yeah, yeah, so I heard. Come on, let's go grab some lunch. All right, thank you very much. I'm confused. Where'd the coroner find Thomas Larry's wedding ring? Shoved down his throat. For real? Oh, yeah. They're running it for prints and DNA right now, but that's not the best part. There were two victims in Palm Beach and one in Chicago with the same M.O. Wedding band in their throat, shot in the heart. What about ballistics? Same caliber, different gun. And all the victims were male? And married, with big insurance payouts to the wives who just so happened to have used a private investigator. Tiny Martin and Frankie Dean. No. But the police reports show that the PIs were female. Unfortunately, the names of the PIs I ran came up bogus. Well, some states are pretty loose on who will issue a PI license to. It'd be easy to operate with fake credentials. Now, Lieutenant, I think it's time we have another talk with our grieving widow. Yeah. It won't hurt. 